In this video, we're going to look at the in-string function in Excel VBA. This function allows you to perform a search based on a string of text in a larger string and find the position of where that string of text is found within that larger string. So the first thing we want to do is get into the VBA editor window. You can do that by hitting Alt F11 or going to the developer ribbon and clicking on the Visual Basic button. Anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert, and then module. We're going to call this subroutine search string and declare a few variables. So the first variable is just going to be called string. It's going to be as the data type string represents the larger string we want to search in. The next variable we'll call SV for search value, also going to be as the data type string, going to be our search value. So we'll set the string variable equal to the word day. We'll just keep it really simple. In this first example, our search value is going to be equal to the letter Y. So the in-string function has four arguments. The first and last argument are optional. So the first argument is the starting position of where we want to begin the search. If you leave it blank, the default is the first position, meaning if we searched on the word day, it would begin at the letter D. So in this first example, I'm going to leave the optional arguments blank. So that takes us to the second argument which is the string we want to search on. So that is going to be our string variable containing the word day. And then the next argument is our search value. So that's going to be our search value variable. The last argument is the type of comparison you want to make when you're trying to make a match. So for most cases, there's really two. There's actually three, but really in most cases, we're only going to use two either a binary compare or a textual compare. If you leave this last argument blank, it, the default is a binary compare, meaning it's case sensitive. So in this first example, I'm gonna leave those two blank and we're gonna nest this within a variable we'll call position and we're going to debug and print. that variable. And when I run this, what we should see is the number position in our immediate window of where our search value is located in the word day. So you can see that returns a value of three, and that is the third position in the word day. So if I change this to an uppercase Y and run it, it's going to return a value of zero because we have the default comparison type of that last argument since we left it blank as binary, which means it's case sensitive. So if we wanted to make this case insensitive, we would have to include both of the optional arguments because the requirement, if you want to include this last argument, you have to input the first argument as well. That's just required. So we'll add a position of one as our starting position. And then for the last argument, we want to select text compare. So now when I run this, it returns a position of three, even though our search value is uppercase and the string is lowercase. Easy enough. So now what we want to do is apply the in string function to our spreadsheet to loop through all of the strings here in column A, search for the first occurrence of the word day. If it is found, extract it, place it in column B. If it is not found, we just want to populate column B with the words not found. So we're going to have the same variables we had earlier. So we have string as the data type string. We 
have our search value also as the data type string. Since we're going to loop through our records, we'll set up the string variable within our loop, but we can go ahead and define our search value variable now, which is just going to be equal to the word day. So we have our for loop with i as our counter variable that represents each row. We're going to set that equal to a beginning point of 2 and an ending point of 6. Now we can set our string variable, which is going to be equal to cells, and our row index is going to be our counter variable, and then our column index is column 1. We want to get the value. We're going to have a variable called position, which represents the output of our in-string function, the number of where our search value is found, if it is found. So we want to start at position 1. We want to search in our string variable. Our search value is going to be our search value variable. And we want to make this case insensitive, so we're going to use text compare. So that variable will hold the number position if it is found. If it is not found, it will return a position of zero. So then that leads us to our if condition. So we have if our position is greater than zero, that means a match is found. So if that is the case, then with our cells in column B, we want to set the value equal to the value that is found. And to do that, we're going to use the mid function. It has three inputs, the string, the starting position, and the length. So the string is going to be our string variable. The starting position is going to be our position variable because if the word day is found it's going to find the position of the letter D in day. And then for the length we want to get the length, the output of the length function on our search value variable which is holds the word day which would be three characters and that should be that. We're going to have an else condition if, it, if a match is not found, meaning our position variable is zero, then what we want to do is set that same row and column value equal to not found. We'll end our if statement and we want to go to the next counter variable in our loop. So now I'll hit play and you can see our search value was lowercase the word day. So it found day in the word today. It found the first occurrence of the word day. There's two here. If we had made this case sensitive it would have found this last occurrence of the word day. It was not found in these two strings here, so it produced not found, and then this returned the word day in yesterday. So in this final example, we want to use the in-string function to extract values that occur between the position of two different characters. So I have a list of inventory items. We have ID number followed by the inventory ID number and then in parentheses the inventory count. What we want to do is extract the count because we know the count are the numbers that are in between the opening and closing parentheses. So we're going to have the same type of variables. So we have string, which represents each row we want to loop through. We're going to have a search value 1. 
and a search value two. Our search value one is going to be equal to our opening parentheses. Our search value two is going to be equal to our closing parentheses. We're going to have a for loop again with our counter variable i. We want to begin at row two and go to row 21. Our string variable just like the last example, is just going to be equal to each row in column A as we go through the loop. So we have our counter variable and then column 1 and the value. So we're not going to have an if condition this time because we know that every one of our records has what we're looking for. So we're going to have position 1 as a variable, and that is going to be equal to the in-string function. And we have our string input and then our search value 1. So that will give us our beginning position. Now what we want to do is add one to that because this will return the position of that opening parentheses and we want the first digit after that or first character I should say. So similar thing for our position two except we want to subtract one from that because it's going to find the, the position of that closing parentheses and what we want is the last number before that closing parentheses. So now in column B we just want to set that value to the mid function we have our string as the first argument and then the starting position is going to be position one and then for the length what we want to use is the length of our string variable minus our position one variable because that will take the entire length subtract it from our starting point of what we want to extract and that should get us our length of what we want to extract. And then we go to our next counter variable. So I'll hit play and what we should see is all of the numbers enclosed in parentheses get extracted and placed in column B. And there it is. Well that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.